Hi, this is Sheree with Rehash Fiber. Have you ever wondered if you can spin your animal's fur? Yes, you can. And today I'm gonna to show you how. Welcome everybody. This is how I got started in spinning. Brushing our cat, Sophie, who is a gray cat with long fur. I thought this stuff is so beautiful. I wonder if I can do something with it. So I talked to the right people and learned that I could spin it. So that was a few years ago and that was my introduction to spinning and I have since evolved tremendously. So I wanted to share with you how you can spin your cat and dog's fur. First of all, there are no hard, fast rules. So you have options. You don't have to prep the fiber or you can prep it to what works for you. In the past, I've done things like brushing it on a blending board that way all the fibers are lined up and just pulling off strips of that. I've also done actual dog brushes because they weren't as tight as the hand carters and brushing the dog fur that way and popping it off and spinning it. Here is some of Sophie's fur. Recently, I thought, let me just spin from the cloud. That's what they call it when you just take this cloud of fur, you set it on your lap and you spin from it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Now to get started, if you are brand new, be very gentle with yourself. My first yarns from cat fur are the thickest yarns I have. I did whatever I could to get it to stick together and I had a blast, but I have a ton of very thick yarn. Now as I've evolved, I can spin this into thin yarn and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. If you're using a spinning wheel to spin your cat or dog's fur, you wanna use the fastest speed. So that'll be the smallest whirl. So I have here the Ashford Joy. The fastest speed is 14 to one. And as you can see here, it's the smallest whirl because what you want is a very high twist going into your dog or cat's fur because usually the staple length, even though it's a long furred animal, is still short compared to some wool or alpaca. So for instance, my cat's fur is one inch long. So you see, you need a very high twist to get the twist in it. To spin Sophie's fur with zero prep, basically, I just lay the cloud in my lap. If there's any dense sections that maybe got, you know, kind of matted together as it was sitting in the bag, I'll just fluff those out a little bit. So it'll be an easier spin. And then here's my tip to you. Don't hold it in your hand to spin it because the warmth of your hand will then kind of compact the fiber and you want it to stay fluffy. So I just pick it up as I need it. And you can see here, I'm getting a nice thin spin, which is just great. Setting up your wheel, you want it you want the drive band as loose as possible, but that will still take up your fiber, but you don't want to feel it pulling. You want to be giving the fiber to the bobbin. It's a very short draft zone but it's really fun to see your animal's fiber turn into yarn. Think of the special things you can make. The keepsakes. Kind of fun, it's fiber you didn't have to pay for. Well, not directly. It came out really nice, I love it. It's so soft. That's pretty cool, that's my cat's fur. So 
So no matter what, the key is to have fun and create yarn with your animal's fur, no matter how you create it. It's just something really special that this creature that lives in your house can then have this fiber that instead of going in the garbage bin can make something beautiful. So enjoy spinning your animal's fur. Happy spinning. Thanks for watching.